Okay, we're going to be looking at Google Keep and then we're going to be comparing it to Microsoft To Do. Google Keep is for taking notes and for organizing those notes, and To Do is for maintaining lists of things that you need to do, but they both can be used in the same way. And we're going to compare them just by going through and adding some notes and organizing them. And as you do this, just know that both of them have a mobile app. So we're looking at the web versions right now just to make them comparable, but you can use them on your phone or your tablet as well. And the Microsoft To Do also has a native Windows 10 application that can run on your PC. They both integrate into the environment. So Google Keep runs alongside the other free Google apps and To Do runs alongside Outlook and others. There is some integration in each one of them, but that's not what we're gonna focus on. What we're going to do is take some notes and organize them. And the first thing that you wanna to do today is you wanna go grocery shopping. So we're going to go into Google Keep first and make a list for grocery shopping. And then we're going to do the same thing in Microsoft To Do. But for that grocery shopping, we wanna have a list of different items. So if we do that in Google Keep, because we want bananas and we want oranges, you have to make it into checkboxes. So let's do that, just show checkboxes, and then you'll see something that you kind of have to undo. Grocery shopping, you don't need a title on a note in Google Keep. So when you just start typing, it puts it down in the body. But when you do checklists, it takes over the entire list. So let's chop off grocery shopping. It will put it up as the title. And then you have to get rid of this first item. Not a big deal. You'll get used to that. Here's your grocery shopping list and keep. And if I go over to a Microsoft To Do and I have my grocery shopping, you add steps to the item. So we'll go in, we'll add a step. And that's going to be bananas and oranges. So these will behave a little bit differently. You can check off the entire item when you're done in Microsoft To Do, or you can just check off your steps. And then keep, you just check off the boxes and then deal with the entire note when you're done. But this grocery shopping, I wanna do this tomorrow. So the way that I would deal with this note in Google Keep is just to close it and it's not pinned at the top, and you'll understand what that means more as we go along, but it's not on top of the list. Now, what you could do is remind yourself to do it tomorrow, and that adds a note to Google Keep. It still stays on your screen, but it's going to pop up as a reminder tomorrow. So think about if you use an Android phone and you get reminders, this will be one of them because it integrates with all the rest of the Google reminders. And if I want this to happen tomorrow in Microsoft To Do, there's a few things. So one, it has automatically put it in My Day, which is your list of things that you want to do today. But you don't want it there at this point because you want to do it tomorrow. So I would right click on it and move it from My Day first. And it, now it's just down in your tasks. Come down here and if you want to assign it to a particular day, which you do, you want to do it tomorrow, just do uh, do tomorrow. So that's also going to be a reminder for you in Google Keep. Tomorrow, that'll be on your My Day list. And while we're working on these two, let's show you how you categorize each of them. These two methods are going to be very different, but they're going to accomplish the same thing. So on the grocery shopping, let's add a label, and we're going to call it Grocery. And one thing you'll notice here that you can do in Google Keep that you can't do in Microsoft To Do is you can also label it spending. And when you're looking through your labels, you can look for just the spending or just the grocery. So if you have a list for car shopping and you have a list for uh, hobbies, you can tag those all spending as well. You click on spending and you see all three of them. You click on grocery and you just see grocery. In Microsoft To Do, this is going to work differently. So what you would want to do is you want to make a new list and call it grocery, and then go back to your task, right click on grocery shopping, and you could just move the task to grocery. All right, that's enough with the groceries. Let's move on to something else. I'm going to just kind of go back to the home screen on Google Keep. I'm going to go back to my day on To Do. And today, we're going to want to clean out the fridge now you'll notice I just typed it in the body of Google Keep. I didn't give it a title because I'm not gonna do checklists. I don't need to separate it out. 
Let's give this one a label as well. We're going to do cleaning. And we want to clean today. So how we would do this in Google Keep is if you want to pin it to the top, now you have two different sections in Keep. You have your highest priority items and then you have your others. This indicates that this is what I want to do today. And if you come over to Microsoft To Do and you indicate that you want to clean out the fridge, come over here, right click on add, and it is in my day by default because Microsoft today wants you to organize your day first. And you could just leave it here. You could also right click and say do today. And that way when you look at things that you've planned, you'll see it on today. So you really don't need to indicate that you want to do it today. It just depends how you want to use it. So we categorize this in Google Keep as cleaning. You can do the same thing in To Do. So let's do another list here. You do a lot of cleaning, so you need it needs its own list. And let's make it look a little bit different. So you can come up to the cleaning. You have three little dots here. One thing that you can do is you can change the theme. So when you're done cleaning, uh, you're all hot, right? So this list is red. And if you're using the native Windows app, you can also put a little icon to the left of it. You can take the clean out the fridge. You can left click on it. You can drag it down to cleaning. It's going to put it in cleaning, but you notice it doesn't remove it from my day. So if you click on cleaning, it's there and you see the indication that it's on my day. It's in both places. So this really isn't two different lists. My day is kind of a, it exists on top of the other list. It's not exclusive. If you have something in there, it doesn't mean it's pulled out of somewhere else. But in Google Keep, if you pin something to the top, it no longer exists at the bottom. But it still has the tag of cleaning. So, so these two techniques are accomplishing the same thing, but in a very different way. And you'll see, I left groceries blue. I turned cleaning red. If you want to do the same thing in Keep, you can do that. If you're a visual organizer, just go on this little icon that indicates the different colors. Turn this one red. And we can come down and turn the grocery shopping blue if you have a lot of notes on one page that can kind of help you look at them and you can get extensions where you can sort by color as well but in just the clean google keep app like i'm using it's just for visual organization if you've been a good person today and you got your cleaning done in google keep you can just unpin it if you want to do it again on another day and just leave it down here or you can archive it and this is similar to gmail where it gets it out of your screen and out of your notes, but it doesn't delete it. Or you can just left click on these three dots and delete the note and that will get rid of it. But if you come over to Microsoft to do and complete it, this is a bit more of a traditional task list where you put the check mark in with the left click. You hear that great sound and it stays up here as a crossed out item. You can right click on it and delete it if you want to. You could create another list called completed items there's several different ways to deal with it, but if you wanted to just delete it and get it to go away, you left click on delete selected task. And it's just warning you, hey, this is gonna make it go away forever. Let's do that, let's get rid of it. Let's come over to clean the fridge and get rid of that one as well. So I'm on my Android phone and you can see the icon of a microphone. I'm gonna tap that with my thumb and then I'm just going to say something. That recorded my voice. I'm going to go back with my thumb and that made a note. Now you'll see that there's a little play button on that note. If I go back into it, it also saved a voice file and that may be handy. You can also just use it to transcribe the note and you can check the X and just delete the voice file. If I were to do that in Microsoft To Do, I'm gonna bring up the app here. If I go to add a task, there is no option to record my voice, but you can use your keyboard. I'm using the Android. I've got to believe the iPhone has the same thing. Left click on the keyboard, then you can say something. That's exactly what I wanted, buck like keyboard. Perfect, we're gonna save that. And it, it does put the task up there, it just doesn't also pin the voice file to it. And another option to add a note when you're using the Android phone, if I go back to Google Keep, is to use the camera in your phone. So you can take a note from an image on your phone or using your camera. And it'll put a little picture file on your phone. And if it's something like a business card, it'll also read the text or a receipt. So that can be super handy. And To Do does not have an option for that. 
And there's one more type of note that Google Keep lets you do that Microsoft To Do just doesn't have, and that is uh, the drawing. If you go to take a note and you click on the icon of a pen, it'll bring you up to a drawing interface, and then you would save that, and it would uh, create a note from that. Microsoft has a, something called Whiteboard there where you can draw on it, but it's not connected to To Do. To Do is just meant for text notes, so that that is not there. If I go into the grocery note that we made, one of the options is to add notes to the note, if you will. So this is kind of the body of the note, but you can't attach anything to it. Microsoft To Do is integrated in the environment to some extent. So if I left, left click here, I can see my other apps. In my experience, it's been a bit of a loose connection between the Outlook task, but I haven't used it very much, so I can't really attest exactly how it works. But if I bring up Outlook and I look at my tasks, you can see all of these tasks that I've made in Outlook to do before, but I've deleted them in to do. So be a little bit careful about that. If you use to do, I probably just wouldn't use Outlook tasks. I'd use one or the other. But that's basically all. So when you build out Google Keep, you can have a, a mass of notes that you would typically organize through the labels and a little bit with the colors. And if you build out Microsoft To-Do, you're just going to have lots of lists and you're going to be using My Day extensively, checking them off, and they're going to be getting deleted. If I look a little bit at this Plan tab, if I built this out, it'll have this separated out on when I'm going to do things. In on the right, it just looks more like a list. So Microsoft To-Do is just more of an organizer of a list of to-dos. And Google Keep is more of a collection of little notes. They're both really thoughtfully designed. They just go about it in a different way. So I hope that was helpful. If you liked that video and you want to see others like it, please subscribe in the lower right-hand corner. And then you can click the little icon of a bell if you want notifications uh, as the videos are posted. Thanks for watching.